News from the front lines. Marvel's Max Bemis puts the moon in Moon Knight by following up his opening salvo that he hates the fans by telling them they could feast on his ass. Marvel editor-in-chief C.B. Sabuski was nowhere to be found, as he too is under attack by SJWs for a bugaboo. Tune in next time for News from the Front Lines. guys welcome back to another broadcast we're back again with marvel's max bemis and today i want to talk about how he puts the moon in moon Knight. i actually didn't really want to talk about this guy for any length of time i thought that he would just kind of fade away this would be like maybe you know uh, a one-time deal because where can you really go after you tell fans that you uh hate them or effing hate them uh you know, it's hard to top that one. But today, while I was at work, I saw this popped up in my feed. Somebody shared this with me. Um, He wrote over the weekend, I stand by my statement. If anyone disagrees with me about general empathy or humanism so deeply that they can't take my SJW views, those people can feast upon my ass. Okay, so, (laughs) now, I was DMing another YouTuber, and I said, where, okay, so now where do you go after you tell people that they can feast upon your ass? Sorry about the language for those of you that um, don't like expletives. I usually don't do that, but I will do it if I'm quoting somebody. So, it's like, where do you go? I was like, do they go to, like, you could guzzle my dot 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 you could gargle my dot 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 uh there seems to be no standards at marvel uh you could pretty much say anything that you want to fans and get away with it and it's completely unacceptable at some point in time you have to wonder does disney advocate for this because guys like me have tagged disney um, I've tagged C.B. Sabulski, um, however the heck you say his last name, and I haven't received a response from him. It seems as though nothing's changed. This is his first test, as far as I'm concerned. As I said in my last broadcast, this is something that you could take care of immediately. It requires nothing, and it's it's common sense. Uh, you know, Max Bemis could be, he could cast himself as an artiste, all he wants, his defenders. There was people like earlier this weekend telling me like uh, some European guy was like Americans don't know how to handle jokes. Um, it's not a joke. The guy literally said he effing hates people, and now he's saying that guys that don't want left wing politics shoved in their comics can quote feast upon his ass. Now the other thing that was interesting. Uh, I didn't highlight this either, is that earlier today, here we go, the same guy who said that SJW undertones were not in his book retweeted a guy who said, quick reminder, superheroes are literally social justice warriors. That's like Mark Wade who said like a few months ago before his, uh, you know, he left Twitter for an extended stay that all superheroes are SJWs. So he gets mad at you for daring to question whether SJW undertones would be in his book while simultaneously advocating through retweets of other people that superheroes are literally social justice warriors. Of course, using their definition that pretty much nobody on the face of the earth uses except SJWs. Everybody outside that their bubble knows that these are the same sort of people that scream like psychopaths on college campuses, try to get people fired, turn on other left-wing professors um, because they won't stop work because they're a white guy on some day that, you know, in Oregon or wherever it was, um, there was like a week where you're supposed to like not work or something like that for minority students. I don't know. forgot the exact story, but uh, you could look it up. It's quite insane. 
So um, now you might ask, well, why is CB quiet on this? Well, um, CB has his own problems. He's under attack by SJWs as well, so maybe he doesn't want to fire a guy like Max Bemis. Maybe he's already got his head down, and he's just trying to survive whatever weird onslaught is coming his way. Not so much survive, because I don't think he's going anywhere, but, you know, uh, maybe this whole outrage was a way to get him in line, and it was a preemptive strike to make sure that he doesn't put guys like this in line. Uh, Mr. Feast Upon My Ass, Bemis, Moon Knight Rider, telling you to feast upon his moon. Uh, I've covered this for a long time. I covered this on my own blog, uh, even going back to, uh, I mean, f further back than 2016, but, you know, um, those who are the, that have followed my blog know that I covered David F. Walker. This is the guy, you know, uh, giving people an extra dose to fuck it all, eat a bag of dicks. What is it with these guys and weird sexual stuff? Um, when they want to insult you, they get to, like, you know, um, eating their genitalia, um, feasting upon their their butt. Um, these guys all have, like, weird sexual hang-ups or something like that. But here's the thing, is if I were to do a whole skit around Max Feast Upon My Ass Bemis, somewhere his SJW friends would then flip it on me and say that I'm somehow anti insert group here and they would they would turn it into some sort of attack on like lgbtq plus community um i would be the bad guy and this you know it would be ridiculous now the only thing that i could say that i that i haven't said in previous broadcasts is that i think that people should take screenshots of this and besides tagging disney besides tagging cb I would send them to your local comic book retailer and because most of them you know if you have a pull list they have the email you contact them on a regular basis I'm sending my uh, local comic shop owner screenshots of this and I'm saying you know that I bought the first two issues of Moon Knight I am NOT buying any more from Max Bemis because of this and every time these guys do that do something like this send them screenshots because the retailers then could go directly to Marvel and directly to Disney to back end to individuals that can you know maybe they're not getting it if you just tag Disney you know or CB or whomever you know CB's intern might be doing his Twitter for the foreseeable future or you know taking care of like generic stuff for him so I would go directly to the retailers retailers from now on because I think that could put some more leverage on guys like old Max here. So anyway, that's about it for now. Uh, hopefully I don't need to cover Max too much in the near future, but I just wanted to let you guys know that they continue to take things to another level. They're accelerating uh, their kind of like weirdness, their mean spiritedness, and they continue to dig in with this bizarre anti-fan behavior and again this is all coming from Marvel Comics this isn't really coming from DC that I know of and it seems like the biggest writers at DC are generally kind of muted in this sort of stuff and uh, like sane people they kind of ignore a lot of it you know they don't take the bait um, not that you know people are necessarily baiting them but you know any sort of like political comment you know, just like yeah you know I'll pass uh, they don't get involved in that sort of stuff, which is the wise thing to do if you're a business. Uh, Max seems to think that Moon Knight is like his property now that he's writing it. That's that's not really how it works. You work for Marvel. So, again, uh, tag CB and stuff like this. Tag Disney and start getting your retailers involved. Email them screenshots of this stuff and tell them, you know, you could even put a price figure on it. Tell them how much you've spent in the past on Moon Knight books and tell them, you know, whatever X amount, you know, $100 or whatever it is, that's not coming your way anymore because this is unacceptable for any sort of business. Um, normal businesses have social media policies and they do not allow this to happen. Anybody who defends this sort of thing is, um, you know, 
they're advocating for a bunch of degenerates. This is degenerate behavior right here. And um, it's sad that it's come to this. But anyway, uh, I will try and get to a normal comic review sometime later this week. But uh, yeah, I'll figure something to review soon. Thanks for everybody who subscribed lately. Again, we're closing in on 5,000. I appreciate that. Thanks for everyone on Super Chat. And thanks for everybody who is a Patreon member. I appreciate that very much. So anyway, I'll see you guys soon and take care. See ya.